Yo, what's going on, Game Day Nation? It's your boy Josh, and we took a trip down to Durham once again to see the battle between the Eagles and the Spartans. Norfolk State went into Durham's nest to see if they can pull off a big win, but it was also homecoming. And this was my first time ever experiencing a North Carolina Central homecoming. I mean, the tailgate was popping, the DJs was going off, the alumni showed all type of support. For it being my first time, it was a great experience. Now let's get into the game. On the first drive of the game, the Spartans came out and took the ball as North Carolina Central deferred. They put the defense on the field first, and the Spartans actually moved the ball down the field a little bit on offense to where on the first drive, they settled for a field goal. Spartans go up 3-0 early in the game. And I'm pretty sure you guys aren't new here, but if you are, let me introduce you to Davies Richards. He's one of the best players in college football, not just HBCU. The stat speaks for itself. The man is a beast. The Eagles come down first drive and they look to get points on the board as they hand it off to Mookie Poyer to where they get the first touchdown of the game, 7-3 Eagles. And off of a bad kick return, the Spartans get the ball deep in their own territory and the Eagles force them to a three and out to where they have to punt the ball. Once again, if you don't know Davies Richards, here's an introduction. 50-yard bomb to Devin Smith for the touchdown. I don't know what better ball placement could you have on that play. Like, you couldn't have put it nowhere else. Eagles go up 14-3. Another bad kick return from the Spartans to lead them to not great field position, and the Eagles' D-line is humming, and they're getting after them. They force another three and out in a punt, and the Eagles take no time once again to put points on the board. Davius Richards, another beautiful pass, great ball placement to Miles Campbell for the touchdown. The Eagles are having a ball. They're getting everything to go their way. Eagles go up 21-3 in the first half. And when everything's going right, everything's just going to keep going right. The D-line makes a big play once again. Alabama A&M transfer Trey Middleton comes up with a big strip sack to give the Eagles back the ball and great field position. And you know what they're going to do with it. They're going to give it to the HBCU Jalen Hurts. Davius Richard takes it in for the touchdown. The Eagles are dominating in all phases of the game. 28-3 before the halftime. Eagles are up. Now, with the injury to the Norfolk State Spartans quarterback in the first half, they subbed in Cameron Sapp, redshirt junior from FAMU. Hey, the transfer was balling. The transfer portal has been helping out a lot of teams this year as he throws this dime to receiver Teron Walker, who gets his first touchdown of the season with his mom in attendance. Teron Walker, freshman wide receiver from Columbus, Ohio, gets his first touchdown of the season with his parents in attendance. Isn't that a beautiful story within HBCU football? Beautiful. And with that touchdown, they gave the Spartans some confidence on defense because they forced a three now and a punt from the Eagles. And now Cameron Sapp is right back at it, throwing dots across the middle of the field. Wide open receiver, first down. But they are not able to punch it in before the half, and they have to settle for a field goal. So this makes the score 28-10 to 10 Eagles at the half. Now, I don't know what's told at the half from the Spartans, but they came out with a whole different motor. They came out that half with a whole different gear that they kicked it into, and they marched on the field on the first drive out of the half and put up points on the board. The Spartans marched down the field and get another touchdown to make the score 28-17. And on the kickoff, they forced a fumble. So now they get the ball back once again. Then they set up a slip screen to running back Kevon King, and he takes it 30 yards in for the touchdown. And now the Spartans have fought back into this game 24 28 eagles up now i've covered a lot of central football this season and i know whenever they get into the rough patch they're just going to hand the ball off to number five and let him go to work and that's what they did consistent runs down the field all game then they hit him with the pass to Devin smith nice little juke move get them in the end zone eagles go up 35 24 early in the fourth quarter can the spartans fight and get a chance in this game Cameron Sapp drops back one more time, finds the receiver Traymond Talbert for a great catch that is good on Sundays. I know he take yoga because that was a great catch to keep his feet in bounds. But with a holding call, this backed up the Spartans and on third down, they try to find somebody open, but Cameron cannot find anybody. And on fourth down, they try to go for it one more time to see if they can get a chance in the game. But he ends up throwing an interception which seals the game for the Eagles. Eagles win the game 38 to 24 over the Spartans to end off their homecoming night. It's your boy Josh from Game Day Nation. We hope you guys enjoy. We'll see y'all. You guys know about this moment. One slip up and it can be over. How do you keep that mindset going forward with the same guys? We gotta keep preaching. We gotta keep preaching. And stand as a stand. We wanna play better. And then next week, we did this week. And that's what we continue to do. And uh, I'm just 
so thankful to be a part of it. These guys, they work their butts off. We're going to get everybody's best shot. And Coach Otis is no mistake. They gave me a great game plan. You know, they, they gave us, they gave us a tough game today.